everybody, this is Retail's Fine Art Classes channel. We are going to be making some Armenian dumplings, which are Monty. Here's what you're going to need. You're, and hello, I'm Carly. I'll be your host for today only. Here we have a half pound of ground meat, one big onion, make it charred so you can get smoky flavor, and put some olive oil in it, and it will be like a nice, nice onion flavor. Get your Himalayan pink salt and your black pepper. Okay, you just want to put some black pepper in. And some of this pink Himalayan salt. Now you mix it up. Make sure to put the onions on a medium heat. And for like 10 seconds, put it on a high heat. I only put it on 10 seconds because it was going to be burned. And I would be burned. Okay, and get your spoon. I have a wooden spoon here. It's okay if you get some onion in it because we're already putting onion with that. Just not inside of making it. Here's what I do. Here's what I do. So, here's what I do. I go like this first and then I start mixing. It's a little hard to mix the ground meat, kind of. It's my first time doing everything, so. Then comment down below, like this video, and subscribe. Turn on notifications. And comment in this video after this what you think we should do next week we're gonna have videos on tuesday thursday and saturday afternoon you want to mix your meat well so you can get all of those pepper and salt in it It looks like sausage to me. Here it is. Now you put the onion inside. Make sure you get all the smoky flavor.
This is my Hello. And no, it's not too much pepper or salt. Um, make sure to prepare your dough before doing this. So don't just do the meat first. Do the dough because it takes like a long time for it. So, so now that we have our dough flattened out like this, now we're going to be cutting it, but here's how we're going to do it. So my great grandma has done it like this. So we fold it, and then we fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it. Make sure you don't press it down. And now we're going to cut it into squares. It's okay if you make a big because we need to make it big. Let's say for like a toy pillow for instance. That's, that's how big we want it. Okay, everybody, so we had a little technical difficulty, but here you want it like pillows, kind of, like mini toy pillows, but not so. Okay, so the next step you want to do is that you take one of these little pillow shapes, and there should be like a little, little slit, so then you can open it. Make sure to not press down so then you can open it. That way you can um, cut it later on. Okay, so you can put a little flower on it. I'll do that. And then next step is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take another one. Maybe not this one, but we're going to take another one. Make sure you don't pull it because the more you pull it, the more, um, the more it, um, gets uh, short. Seems crazy, but it's true. <laughs> okay, so now you're going to get your other ones you can do it three or two layers two is easier for me i'm going to do two layers and then we're going to repeat all these steps till we're finished unfolding all of this Oh, hey there. Now we're just be going to cut it. Make sure to not press down. It's a little hard because it sometimes sticks to the knife, but you'll get the hang of it in like maybe like a few minutes. So now we're gonna keep on doing this till all of the all of the dough is cut. You want it kind of like spaghetti, like fettuccine kind of. Okay, so after that, you wanna open it. So kind of like a sandwich, but not a sandwich. So there will be the two layers that I told you 
and then when you open it it's like little mini little mini toast but not edible right now but will soon be edible Okay, so now what you want to do was cut it up into squares. Then it's your choice. You can do a meat or cheese. The cheese one will be just cheese and olive oil with some onions again. So then here's what you want to do. You want to make it like this, just like my great grandmother did it. You want to fold it like a triangle. But if it's not sticking, here's what you're going to do. You're going to get some water. You're going to put your finger there. And then you're going to wrap it around. And then you're going to put it like this. And if they don't stand, you can just poke your finger in. And you can poke it down. And then we just repeat in the process. You don't have to put the water it's just as long as it's not like sticking you can do it stay up michelle and if your meat is falling apart you can just roll it into a tiny bowl and then close it and repeat in the process here's different ways you can do it for like a design so one second there's three ways or actually four ways so I'll take four and now here's the first one Here's what we're going to do. So here's what you can do like a four kind of design. It's not really necessary, but. You'll have like a little design. Or here's what you can do. You can do a finger design which is how you do it you press your finger in so you can see your like fingerprints kind of so it's gonna be like bumps <laughs> and then and then third one would be this one so Make sure your meat is inside for this one. You can smooth it out like this. And then that way. Or you can do a... do it like this you can do it like this little guy right here so here's how you can do you can get it up and then hold it like this and that's how you make these and and fold it in the back so it could just be like this it's like a tiny little buddy i don't know how he's gonna sit down 
Hello. <laughs> and there's the original way, which was the other one. This is the captain because he's different. <laughs> and here's his co-worker. Nice. <laughs> you want it to be like an army. They want it to be all staring at you. And they'll have the leaders at the front. <laughs> and so the last time I made a Monty was at a Christmas tent. It's November now, but could be Christmas in a few days few weeks and then here's what I did so every time when I would make this Monty it would be a would be kind of like a surprise for my mom so usually I would um, sneak some dough for my aunt and then here's what I would do I would go to the other counter on that side or that side and then I would get some cheese, olive oil and onion, put it in, mix it and then make it into like a little dumpling. Cheese dumplings. <laughs> but Armenian style, of course. So then I would just do that and then when my aunt wasn't looking, I would just sneak it there. I would make it look like it was the same, like it was the same thing as the meat. I would make a few and here's what I would do. Here's how I noticed. So when I would do it, I would make it like a little see-through so that I could see if there was meat or cheese in there. <laughs> And that's how I knew uh, my mom can have it. I mean, she can have meat, but she chooses not to eat. What's the next step? Next step is to bake it and for the liquid, um, for the liquid soup. Let me tell you about it. So I can't, Monty can't be without that soup. Because that soup is great with it. You can also put yogurt in there, but we're saving yogurt for another video, so not for now. <laughs> Next week, we will be doing some sarma if we have some grape leaves, or do the, um, what's it called? Kufta. Kufta, the chikufta. My mom went to the Armenian market once and then they asked her if they have chikufte meat and then you know what the employee said? They said, yes, we have chicken meat. <laughs> I guess they didn't understand what chikufte meat is. <laughs> And then my mother posted on Facebook. And then eventually I saw it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, why don't you go put the oven on? Okay. How much should I put it for? 350. Okay. We're gonna have to come here for this one. <laughs> So here's what you're going to do. You're going to go, well, I don't know what your oven is, but ours is like world food, I think. And you press convent mode. And then you press start. And you're going to put 350. Actually, you know what? Four hundred is good. Okay. It's pretty uh, make sure there's nothing in the oven. <gasps> Hi everyone. 
everybody. So we just finished all the dumplings. So now it's 6.30, which means it's dinner time. So let's try it. We have our meat dumplings and cheese dumplings, our soup base, our yogurt, and a special.